Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Rise of Empires Ice and Fire video with me, Mr. Gil. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for all of your previous likes, views, comments, subscriptions, and all of that stuff. It's really, really helpful, guys. It uh, means the world to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, today we're going to have a little bit of a, uh, a discussion, um, and we're going to be talking about Reign of Chaos Season 4. Now... At the start, because I'll always get this question, I'm going to tell you that remember that Reign of Chaos is an event that happens after the Clash of Province has started. Uh, if you are not seeing Reign of Chaos, if you do not know what Reign of Chaos is, then your state is very early and you just need to wait and it will come. There are four seasons of Reign of Chaos um, and we are currently in between. So we finished season three about three weeks ago. And we will be going to season four soon, I hope. Now, it does seem to me that the in-between time, <laughs> the cooldown period, has been extra long. I used to think in-between seasons was only two weeks, but this has definitely felt like three or four. And as you can see, there is no, it is coming soon. So I'm assuming it's going to start next week. But if it doesn't say starting soon, then it might even be the week after, which would be a five-week break, which seems definitely seems longer than usual to me. However, what we are doing now is getting prepared for Reign of Chaos Season 4. Now, you can take these as preparations that you should do for any season in the, in the uh, rock, but especially for Season 4, because this is when the shit gets real. <laughs> yeah? This is when the shit hits the fan. So, ow. Sorry. I don't know why I said ow. It didn't really hurt. <laughs> my head, earphone falling on my arm wasn't painful in any way possible. <laughs> But yeah, what you should be doing before any Reign of Chaos season is you need to be doing a couple of basic things. Um, the first of those basic things is obviously donating as much as you possibly can to technology um, and using those donations points to buy as much as you possibly can uh, in the stone area. Uh, let's see, can we donate? Oh, we can't. We already did. Oh yes, I, I just did it literally two minutes ago. Um, but you should definitely be saving up as many stones as you possibly can. Obviously, we can pop in here. And we buy bunches of rocks here, which is stones. I don't know why they have two different names. It should bunch of rocks and stones. It's a bit stupid, but that's how it is. Um, the more stones you have, the better. Um, now, obviously, the stones are going to be used. And we can see I've got 104,397 uh, down here. Uh, so that is immediately I will have my 10,000 personal contribution points. Uh, remember, you need 10,000 points in the Reign of Chaos in order to receive any rewards at the end of the Reign of Chaos. Um, so that those amount of stones is immediately my personal contribution. I have hit the 10,000. I could not take part in any of the duels and I would still get rewards at the end of it. Of course, I'm going to take part in the duels. Um, what we also need the stones for, sorry, I was just trying to find the little button, is here obviously in the building. Now you can see here that we have, uh, nobody has donated any stones for a long time, but when we do, we're going to try and max this out. What we're aiming for is about four and a half million stones minimum for the duration of the Reign of Chaos, though I roughly think we will probably need six million in total. Now I kind of worked that out in that we will probably be using, hopefully, two or three destroyer shouts each duel there are about 15 duels so that's about four and a half million so i'll need them from there um, and maybe if we want to change or move our alliance centers around we want extra to do that it also of course takes stones to do things like uh building rally points etc 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 so the more we can the better now we've given uh, the alliance a task everybody should be getting at least a minimum of fifteen thousand stones before the season starts uh, but we're hoping that everybody can get to about a hundred thousand so everybody's personal points are already worked out so that's the first thing that we're doing and we're thinking about uh, the second thing we're thinking about in terms of getting ready for the season is obviously leveling up um, <coughs> By season four in the game, there are going to be a lot more Castle 25s around, um, and you're going to need to be stronger. The alliances are all going to be quite huge, and a lot of alliances will have done a lot of consolidation, and also migration would have been running for at least, well, it's been going for at least six months, I think, here in this on this world, so on this um, province. So migration is going to be happening, and a lot of states are going to be kind of consolidating their power. Now, we have lost in uh, State 71 uh, quite a few huge uh, teams, uh, and they've moved to other states, and they're, they're consolidating as well. And we've started to consolidate a bit as, as well as we do here. You can see the rest of these are basically farms. But effectively, 
even at this level, we are behind. Yeah, so our, my line, our lines here, XZX, that's pretty low. For going into season four, we're still going to have a hard time of it. It's not going to be easy. Okay, a lot of the the other alliances we'll be facing will be more about this level, 800, and there'll be a lot that are well, well above this level as well. So it's still going to be a hard thing for us. Below this, you're starting to get into trouble. This kind of level here, 60 million, 67 million, 58 million, is is pretty much useless. Um, you will not be able to compete. You're going to be basically attacking a few farms, but all it will take is a few alliances. Uh, just to come down and sit on you like a ton of bricks and you're basically you're just going to lose and then the whole point of the game which is kind of winning the reign of chaos is so that you can grow and get those rewards which gives you the heroes becomes kind of pointless and you just waste you know eight to twelve weeks of uh, the season um, not gaining and not growing or anything like that so it's really important in the between times that if you're in a smaller alliance if you run a smaller alliance, you kind of have to suck up your gut and think about merging with another alliance, getting stronger together, or maybe even dissolving your alliance and advising all of your players to move to some of the bigger ones. I promise you, it, while it might sound, uh, you know, like a, uh, a a crazy thing to do, um, it is it is the right thing to do. By season four, if you're not in a top three alliance in your state, and your alliance isn't, you know hundreds of millions of power strong you're gonna get your butts kicked basically you're gonna get your butts kicked and so you know you need to be ready for that and so you need to make some hard decisions about the future of your alliance the people you play with etc etc um and it's just a fact of life it's just a fact of life um what else are we doing uh obviously we are all rapidly massively trying to complete zone commemoration and i should have easily done this before even season three started but i'm just lazy uh, but we should finish that off probably by the end of next week i believe i think we've got two or three more things to do yeah we should be able to finish this off by the end of next week that's fine so probably just before the reign of chaos season starts so getting that done is ultra ultra important because it's just going to increase all of the resources that i get um during the clash of provinces um i have also been saving all of my honor points from the previous season so honor points are what you get when you complete the reign of chaos tasks this is not the right place um and those points are then used to increase your specialities uh, which gives you special bonus so i kept an enormous amount of my honor points from the previous season so as soon as we start i will be able to take whatever level i was before which i believe was 22 or 23 in my speciality and hopefully max that up pretty quick and get to 24 or 25 um, as well as then completing all the other tasks and getting more honor points it'll just give me a little kick a little head start uh, in the season four um dragon wise I have started training dragons, even though I hate them, but they are quite useful. You know, even I, you know, what, is, what, is, what level am I? Dragon Slayer. So I've got 37 bolts, so that's going to roughly take 15 dragons, black dragons, to get rid of me, I think. Maybe 16. Um, you know, actually it could take less if they've got more powerful dragons. So um, they are quite useful. You know, if you think if 100 members of your team are all holding uh, 15 dragons each, uh, where are they? They'll be here in the Black Dragon Lower. How many have I got? Eight. Oh, I need some more. I can have 12. Okay, imagine everybody in your alliance is holding 12 dragons. That's going to be 120 dragons. You could probably zero quite a few castles during your Reign of Chaos duels. So I'm definitely slowly, slowly getting my dragons trained up and also getting my bolt protection trained up. And I'll be looking at probably increasing all of these buildings before the season starts as well, just to give me that extra little help. Um, Troop-wise... I am overloading, so I have T8s uh, at the moment, and what I am doing is making sure that I have extra T8. So we've got the uh, Crusaders, which are the T8s. We've got 600,000 left over spare, so that should be enough to easily fill each of these once. So I can, uh, you know, if every single person in this one dies, I can refill. Uh, and I can refill pretty much everything, I believe. So that's kind of my plan. It's a bit of a risky plan because obviously I'm going to have a lot more heavy uh, resource wastage and usage now. We can see now currently 1.5 million troop consumption because I'm not using up my wood um, as rapidly as I could because I have so many troops. Uh, so, you know, it's a risky thing to do, but I, I like to go into a reign of chaos having a, an extra backup set of troops, so to speak. Um, I also will be hopefully 
getting my archers and my footmen up to tier 8 as well just before we start so that I can start training some of those because obviously a tier 8 archer or a footman is very useful in attacking the higher level tiles uh, during a reign of chaos. Um, if you haven't got a farm I would suggest in between the periods uh, this is a good opportunity. Now obviously I have a farm I don't use it for the purposes of actually farming um, I just use it for kind of testing but during a reign of chaos it is ultra useful to have a little farm account that I can use to take extra tiles and help with the defense uh, of the Alliance and the Alliance Center. Um, and especially, you know, if you have an Alliance, a farm Alliance itself, uh, that is very useful as well because you can use that to protect you. So if you haven't got one of those or your Alliance doesn't, then it's definitely something to think about. You will need help from a farm Alliance during uh, season four of Reign of Chaos. And then I guess the last final thing is to kind of look at, uh, how the province is going you know as i said we have kind of three big alliances at the top so we will all be focused uh in one corner you know there is plans afoot there are uh chat groups in various forums uh where people are discussing and planning the defense and the layout and the strategies and all that kind of stuff and that's really important by the time you ooh, wow what is it why has he got a book on him why has he got a book is he uh i think he's like a like a, one of the officers of the Emperor or something like that. That's cool. I didn't know that. Nice one, Zavi. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you really want to be liaising with the other top alliances and making sure that you're all on the same page, you're all going the same way, and you're all going to help each other as much as possible. Otherwise, you will get crushed. Now, obviously, by this point, once you've done three seasons of Reign of Chaos, you probably know all of these things already. But it is important to think about. And even if you're just going into the first season of Reign of Chaos, these kind of things still hold true. Save lots of stones as much as possible. If you've got dragons, start training them up, getting them ready because they're going to be a bit useful. Finish your own commemoration research. Save up your honor points if you can. Now, obviously, it's kind of silly to save your honor points from one season to the next. But when you get to a point, as we did in Reign of Chaos Season 3, where I felt... Yeah, it's going to take me five more million points in order to get open the next speciality but we've only got two weeks left of the reign of chaos there's no point in me opening that it is better for me to save them until the next season etc etc so that's reign of chaos season four i didn't think i'd i thought hopefully that this week we'd be doing videos on the reign of chaos itself but it still hasn't come yet so we're just kind of waiting <laughs> it's getting a little bit boring even the reign of chaos is quite annoying um, it's getting slightly boring, waiting and hanging around for it. Um, the whole state is currently in nap, uh, so there's nobody really to raid or anything like that. And I think we have a deal with the enemy state for kill event uh, tomorrow, so nothing's really happening there either, so eh, it's a little bit boring. I haven't really been playing that much. But anyway, that's my kind of thoughts on preparing for the Reign of Chaos Season 4, and in general, preparing for any Reign of Chaos. Um, please feel free to ask questions down below. Um, and then, as I said, when the Reign of Chaos Season 4 actually starts, I'll do a whole series of videos. Some of them, you know, focusing on the basics, but some of them focusing on tactics, more strategy, etc, etc. So hopefully, maybe next week, we can start doing that. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Do the clicky, the linky, the likey. Clicky the likey, linky likey, uh, subscribe if you can, and I'll catch you again next time. Cheers, bye.